Welcome back to Jail Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Get a video today from Life of Abundance. Why this generation is ruined. Please exhort them below. I really appreciate it. That's good. That chat. Jail Time. Do you have any questions for me? Can I fart real quick or no? It's free country, dude. <laughs> Come on, Rodney. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. Oh, yeah. He needs like some milk. No, I'm falling and I can't get up. <laughs> Pops got up and got pregnant and damn near almost had a miscarriage. Um, can I get a please burger cheese? <laughs> men and women that equal. Way. Actually, women are better than men. What do men bring to the world? Literally nothing. Women, the vibes, just everything. Everything you know and love. If you look around, the entire infrastructure of our nation, our economy, every building you walk into, the way that you are portraying your ideas and opinions is through technology and infrastructure and an economy and a nation that was not only built, but it's still maintained to this day by men. Did men allow you to have that haircut? You taking personal attacks makes me seem like the more intelligent. Okay, I understand. Va validate your point, not some personal attack because okay, you're using the argument. Feminism stops whenever it's inconvenient for y'all. By definition, you are delusional if you, you cannot defend everybody. your ideas. You should go. I should True. go. For thousands of years, men have ruled and they have done absolutely nothing. This is why most men reject feminism because nowadays feminism is about hating and bashing men instead of focusing on women's rights feminism is just as useless as the first slice of bread i was fucked up yeah i mean i hit rock bottom Damn. i'm disgusted i was disgusted then when i did it i'm disgusted now the booty bread <laughs> oh my god <laughs> she's beautiful Really? You're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life. Come on, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this. Come on. Stop it. Get some help. Get some help. <laughs> This is the first time that I'm actually seeing the whole build. And that's a crazy ass build. But I have just the right trainer for Gerlock the Destroyer. So why body kit for sure? Two minutes, 14 seconds. A new personal best. Nice job, Alyssa. My name is Mike Franklin, and I'm the founder of Scare Shitless Fitness, the world-renowned fitness <laughs> What absurdity? That's, hang on. I'm it trying to answer your question. Absurd. Calm down. What they're trying to point to is that there's a mass delusion which is going on, and that women have become so far removed from nature, the natural order of things, that they believe due to the pampering that they have in modernity that they would actually make this choice but when presented with that actual choice we don't actually believe that they would we think that they're basically full of shit basically what the argument's really about is whether or not women in modernity are being delusional or not only in the western world would even the most rapid feminists would pick the bear talk about the blind leading the blind it's actually scientifically been proven that men fall in love through a hormone called vasopressin and yeah. women fall in love through oxytocin mm -hmm. and oxytocin is released in a woman when we're having sexual intercourse or we're close with them cuddling very intimate guess when vasopressin is released for men when they're stressed so essentially oh, oh my god the more you stress your man out the more he's gonna fall in love with you mm -hmm. why did they, why did they take it that way no, why the man puts more investment and time and effort into you is when he gets more in love with you. Not stress. What the fuck? No wonder my man loves me so much. <laughs> Guys like it when you're mean to them more than when you're nice to them. Especially when you're starting to date someone and they're not fully interested in you yet. The worst thing you can literally do is like dote over them. Fall at their feet. These bimbo bumbaclap buffoons need to do some research. 
because according to Google, vasopressin is mostly released by problem solving. Stop spreading nonsense, ladies. I'm gonna give you guys an example. I lost my phone on the freeway because I was being a dumbass and my phone holds a lot of valuable information. I was stressed. But the fact that my girl took the time out of her day to risk her life to help me find my phone, and she did, it helped me bond closer to her that she was gonna be there with me through my tough times. Men, we resent women that cause us stress. Who gave these girls a podcast? Could never. All right, I'll give you one good one. The girl I'm dating now, I, I like her a lot. You know what she did? She went to Costco. Costco has mooncake now because it's mooncake festival soon on the 17th. Asian stuff. So she was at Costco, saw the mooncake. I was like, and she calls me immediately. And she's like, hey, babe, there's mooncake. Do you need some for your family? And I'm just like, in my head, I was like, you know what? I do need to buy some for my aunts. Get me seven. So she buys me the seven. I take them to my aunts. No, because I have six aunts and one uncle. So I have to give them all each one box of mooncake. And everything is cool. And then my dad calls me like a few days later. Actually, he called me like yesterday about it. And he was just like, hey, can you give me some mooncakes for your aunts and uncles? Say it's for me. And I'm like, God dang it, dad. Can you do it? Can you tell me this earlier when I did it the first time I gave them the stuff? Now I got to go to their houses and do it all over again, which is it takes up like three, four hours of my day because they don't live close to each other. And I, I, I just have to, I know, when he told me that, I called my girl immediately. I'm like, hey, I need some some really high end, you know, mooncake boxes or some mooncake because I want to give them to my aunts for my dad. So I want my dad to look good. And she was like, I got it. Moments later, she sends me pictures. She sends me all of these things. She did all the research for me. Like, oh, what had the best boxes? So I went with Lady M. It's a high class cake store. And they have like really nice box moon cakes. They're like $88 a box, which is outrageous, I know. But my aunts deserve it in a sense because they've taken care of me and taught me so much. So I'm willing to spend some money for them. That's wonderful. She made my life easier. I don't even have to say much. All I really do is call her and I, I need this done. And she handles it. I don't... There's very few women I've ever met in my life that does that without any questioning so much. I literally just say, hey, can you do this? And she was like, okay. Boom, 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 boom. A few months later, all the research is done for me. It's wonderful. That's how you make yourself valuable to a man. Live with somebody who like sleeps, sleeps until still. noon on yeah. a Saturday. I could never sleep with somebody who, girl, stop it. Cut it out. Who's watching these podcasts? At this point, people are buying the cheapest mics they could possibly find on Amazon. Plop themselves on a couch and press record on a camera. I see all these copy paste podcasts all the time. It's very naggy. It's very. I'm kind of a copy paste podcast a little bit, sort of. Complaining, like cut it out respectfully, of course. <laughs> no. I like the bad <laughs> I'm looking for a Habibi with oil, <laughs> six three with the beard and a Muslim. Tag him below. I mean, I mean, inshallah, I know he exists. Thank you. Unfortunately, sweetheart, no Muslim man is going to accept you as his wife. You are haram. <laughs> it's hard to date when the world is filled with too much of these goddamn curry gobblers what kind of car do all cheaters drive it's guys who don't have a car that cheat guys who don't have enemy cream gobbler detected cream gobbler opinion rejected half of gen z men no longer actively even trying to date they're not even trying and so the question is well why is that happening for women women first off are dating older they want more economically and emotionally viable men and that usually means older men in addition when young women are lonely they have much 
better social networks. They have much stronger friend networks, whereas guys become kind of lone wolves and kind of literally sequester from everyone and everything. I hate to say this, maybe a lot of guys aren't dating because some of you guys have negative riz like this. Do you have a boyfriend? True. No, I'm single. Do you want a boyfriend? Yeah, kind of. Uh, we could find you a boyfriend right now. Like, I could help you find one. At the park? Yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe this guy right there? No, I'm too old. I'm 22, so closer to my age. This guy on his phone right there, right there, right there. No, no, no. Doesn't really look like my type. Right, so what's your type? Introverted, kind of keeps to himself. Um, Why would they be out oh, there? Him, with uh, headphones on. Yeah, looks like it could be my type. Yo, bro, bro. My friend, she was just saying you're cute. She wanted your number. Uh, okay. Sorry, I was watching a trailer. You mind if I give you my number? Yeah, sure. I guess. What trailer were you watching? Uh, no hard feeling. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Yeah, I mean, you have my number now. You should text me. Okay. Maybe we could watch whatever it is that you're watching the trailer for. No hard feelings? Wait, what movie? What's that? No hard feelings? I haven't heard of it. What? Should I? I'm watching it with my girl at my apartment this week. Oh, well, then I guess we should watch it. I'm yeah, but... Shout outs to this man trying his best, trying his best to wingman for this motherfucker here. But sometimes, sometimes, just as much as you want to try and help your friends, it doesn't work out. Can't watch it on my phone or at my house. My parents tracked me. All bro had to do was not say the last two sentences. <laughs> I want a boyfriend so bad. I want him to hold my hand and take me to the movies. Yeah, who ya? Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, motherfucker, yeah. But then what they do is they shut that shit off. There's no dopamine in there at 300 pounds. You, you got nothing. Your hormones are shot. You have to envision something that is more powerful than you. Something has to get you out of bed. And you have to create it. It has to be false, because you're not it. Yeah. You're probably in the bed right now. You're probably an underachiever. You're probably somebody who doesn't want to do anything with your life. So I make you question everything about yourself. You're a fat piece of shit, and that's the reality of it. So you have to create a false reality to live in that, just to get to work on yourself. This is such a powerful statement. This is one example I would like to use is Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan did not was so good, but why was he so good at certain things? He made it so that these other players, like he would pretend like they talk shit about his mother and talk shit about him, him and his family and stuff. So he would be so upset at them. And wants to prove them wrong. But yet, they didn't say anything to him. He falsified these things in his mind to push himself to be better and to be better than the people around him. It's a good way to go about it. Fake it until you make it. But put in the effort. Don't just fake it. That's the reality. A personal trainer and I also own a moving company. Moving company. Okay. I didn't pop my balloon because I kind of wanted to know more about you too. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned something about like building together or growing together. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that means you wanted to go 50-50 or... You... If you want to work, you can work. Okay. You know, I want to take care of home. That's just how I was raised. How much do you make a year? 75 to 95, depending. Yeah, I'm just going to pop my balloon because... like that's not... Enough for me, but I feel like everything else was good. So, um, 75 to 95,000 a year is not good enough. It's just, I was no, looking for something looking different. For. Okay, what, yeah. what are you what were you looking for as far as income wise? I thought it was going to be like a hundred thousand and more because he owns his own company, right? I've been owning my own business for about three years, it's been 110, and then it's been 95. It's been three years, girl. He's making that much money already. This man is going to be making a lot of money. And it's also been 75, so, you know, it fluctuates. All right, thank you. All right, okay. All right, let's come back. Perfect timing for an RP truth bomb. Woman, they don't want to build. 
They just want the finished product. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you ladies fully understand how difficult a man's life is. Like, we just want to be appreciated. Sometimes men disappear because they feel like their effort is not being reciprocated. Talk about it. So, hear, hear me out. Uh -oh. A lot of women feel like their approach to dating is, you as a man have to prove to me you are worthy of my time, my energy, and me being more vulnerable to you. And because of what you've been through, you think that's the right way to do it. But unfortunately, when you're dealing with a man who's actually serious and he's seeing you're holding back, you got walls up, he has concerns that you're wasting his time. Yep. So now he falls off because he's like, all right, she's tripping, she's not really making any effort. But because there's still a desire there, because he still likes her, I think the comment, the like, is a temperature check. Let me see how she'll respond. Let me see if I can still reignite something here. But it all stemmed from, are we actually making a mutual effort to get to know each other? Okay. So just make sure, before you start throwing all kinds of accusations at the man, ask yourself, was I coming correct in this process or Cook not? Cook up, sir. I don't think you ladies truly comprehend what a man has to go through in dating. Let me break it down to you guys. So you're telling me, a man has to conjure up the courage to go talk to you, ask you out, risk making a fool out of himself and getting rejected. Pay for and the go first to jail. date. Do this, do that. Pay for the second date, the third date. Just so we can get a maybe that will end up together. And if we fall short, we're gonna have to do this to the next woman and the next woman and the next woman. It's mentally exhausting and mentally draining. Only if dating was this easy. Can I get your phone number? Uh, okay. Oh, I can? Yeah. Oh my God, thank you so much. Are you actually gonna text me? I promise. What's your name? Durf. Nice, nice, nice yeah. to meet you. I now feel invincible. What about you, Andrew? What do you expect on the first date? When I was dating, yeah. probably that the expectation was that a man would pay for the date and chivalry and all of that. What I would expect in modern year is that I wouldn't date. It just sounds like a nightmare. I would just check out completely and grab a passport and passport bro for the rest of my life. I don't think I would ever date another United States woman ever again, honestly. Where would you ship your passport wife from? Oh, I have no idea. Hmm. Just anywhere but here. <laughs> These girls my have bad. absolutely no idea that this man is speaking for all of us. Brothers, get your passports ready. Obviously, don't go and do that. Please. Hey, you do whatever you like. We, we can't condone anything of the sort. No, we can't. Live! Live! <laughs> Divided by nations, but brothers by interest. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Walked in on my ex getting her cheeks clapped. So I tried to fight the guy. Oh, my. He ended up beating my ass so bad that I shitted on myself. And as he was leaving, he told her, text me after you clean shitty boy up. They're married with two kids now. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> text me when you've cleaned shitty boy up. You know, I hate to say it, but money matters. I talk about it all the time. I'm not saying make money like the end all be all, but you need to make good money. You need to be able to save money. You need to be able to have means in life if you want to do things. You want to get married. You want to get good girlfriends. You want to, you know, live an easier life. You want to travel. You want to enjoy your life a little bit more. It requires money. Work at it, guys. Work towards it. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. I'll you next time. Ciao.